So there are approximately 138 final year engineering projects at university. My team and I won the top engineering project in sustainability and uh, we won the top engineering project of BE Honours in the electrical and electronics major. It meant that I could bring all of the knowledge and skills that I've learned throughout my degree and put it all together to do some good and provide um, something which can uh, be used commercially and can be used in the real world. In the final year of your engineering degree, you're required to conduct a project which looks at a problem, a real world problem, and solves that problem through engineering design and innovation. My name is Pratik Grover, and I've been studying the Bachelor of Engineering Technology, majoring in electronics here at AUT. Hi, I'm Sophie Hergott, and I'm studying a four-year Bachelor of Engineering Honours, majoring in electrical and electronic engineering at AUT. My name's Martin Van Warden, and I'm studying Bachelor of Engineering Technology uh, majoring in electronics here at AUT. Um, so my team and I have designed um, H2Pure, a water quality monitoring device that makes remote real-time readings of water quality in rivers, lakes and harbours. So how this device works is it'll sit in the water fixed in place uh, and it just floats there. It makes readings with some of these probes of the various water quality parameters um, and it will send uh, those readings back to a server and this can be accessed for the end user so they can see in real time what their water quality is. So you connect to it via Bluetooth and you scan and find your device. Then you can configure the device like setting up um, what sensors you want to enable or disable, how often these should be taken readings and also the current time on the device. You can also check the status, so how much battery you have left, or how much memory is used, or how long it's until the next reading. We had a strong passion for sustainability, so our device enhances and supplements some of those water quality monitoring practices in New Zealand and overseas. Potential users could be um, your local governments and councils. It could also be used by farmers. Farmers don't want to harm our waterways, so for them to have an understanding of how they are impacting the waterways would be really beneficial for them. Because it's going to last for six months in the water, we had to have uh, both batteries which can last that long, as well as electronics which are low powered enough. The way you can access it is through the IoT network, so this actually uses the cellular network connection to publish data to a web server which you then can view online from anywhere in the world. In addition to that, you can also request current live readings from the sensors while it's sitting in the water. You can also download all the historical data from the device onto your phone. I've never made an app before, so making one for the first time was a bit challenging, especially with all the functionality regarding Bluetooth. So I spent quite a lot of time on Google <laughs> trying to figure out how to do things, but got there in the end, so I'm quite um, happy with how it turned out. 